Good evening, my little goblins, and welcome to my haunt. I am the Countess Craft, and tonight I will be reading Hazelnut Mad Scientist by David Elliott, illustrated by True Kelly. Hazelnut. It is a dark and stormy night, but the lights are on at the Nut Laboratory. Dr. Hazel Nut is working late. Dr. Nut is a mad scientist. Of course I'm mad, says Dr. Nut. Igor ate my sandwich. Igor is Dr. Nut's weird assistant. He has two heads. She said I could have half. BLT sandwich, bologna, leftovers, and turnip. Patent pending by Dr. Hazelnut. Two heads are better than one, a lot better. Igor is weird, but sensitive. Making monsters is Dr. Nut's specialty. Just last week, she crossed an Egyptian mummy with a 50 pound candy bar. <gasps> he was very sweet. I really liked the yummy mummy, says Dr. Nut. Too bad he melted. I feel like doing something special tonight, announced Dr. Nut. She goes to the supply cabinet and takes out a vampire head. <gasps> she attaches it to the body of an opera singer. She has been saving for just such an occasion. Will it work? One bolt of lightning later and yes! It is the birth of Hazelnut's masterpiece, Dracula la la. Meanwhile, in Hamburg with ketchup, the village near Dr. Nut's laboratory, an important meeting is taking place. I have bad news, says Mayor Algernon Sense to the village elders. Dr. Nutt is making monsters again. I still haven't recovered from the last one, shouts an older elder. You mean the boogie woogie man, asks the mayor. Who else, the elder replies, breaking into a strange dance. There is only one thing to do, says a younger elder. Wake the villagers in Storm Nuts Laboratory. Fifteen minutes later, all of the villagers of Hamburg with ketchup are rushing towards Dr. Nuts' lab. Why are we carrying these stupid torches? The smallest villager asked. Flashlights were invented years ago. <laughs> Back at the laboratory, Dracula la la is raising a fuss. It is lonely being a vampire opera singer, he complains. Dr. Nut gets an inspiration. Igor, she shouts, bring me that piano. Igor carries the piano to Dr. Nut. Now, continues Nut, give me some of those spare monster parts. You mean the ones left over from the big square-headed ugly guy? Or the hairy ones from the wash and werewolf? A little stitch here, a little electricity here, and Dr. Nut has created the perfect companion for Dracula la la. It's alive! Frankenstein way! The singing vampire and Frankensteinway are instant friends. Dr. Nut and Igor settle down to an evening of lovely monster music. But suddenly, there's a pounding at the door of the lab. Open up, Nut! We know what you're doing in there! Igor goes to the door. Won't you come in? 
the concert has already begun. Concert smoncert, replies the mayor. Then a lovely sound fills the laboratory. The villagers are mesmerized by the beautiful music, but Dracula la la is upset. I'm not happy with my high tones, he says to Dr. Nutt. I think I have the solution, she replies. Perfect, says Frankensteinway. Throughout the night, the two monsters sing and play for the villagers. Dr. Nutt serves finger food. Igor sings back up. The crowd's favorite number is Old MacDonald Had a Bat. Finally, after many encores, the concert comes to a close. Dracula la la and Frankensteinway promise to give another concert. The crowd screams for Dr. Nutt. Dr. Nutt, says the older elder, we'd like to thank you for such a wonderful evening. Thank you, says Dr. Nutt with a tear in her eye. It's nice to be appreciated. And we promise we'll never storm your laboratory again, adds another. To prove it, the mayor hands Dr. Nutt a key to the city. Shouldn't it be a key to the village? Asked the smallest villager. <laughs> it's that same troublemaker who wondered about the torches. There's one in every crowd. Dr. Hazelnut takes the key. Thank you, she says again. I know this will come in handy. And it does. Keecher from the Black Lagoon, the monster no cage can hold. The end. Right, my little goblins, I hope you enjoyed Hazelnut Mad Scientist. Now, until we meet each other again, don't forget to grab your favorite book, a healthy snack, and a comfy spot. And remember, R-I-P. Read in peace.